we are going to be going over how to build a customized dashboard using Genius Sheets. So I've opened up a new Excel spreadsheet. I added a little bit of formatting so you didn't have to watch me go through setting up what it's going to look like. Uh, in this example, we're just going to build a quick dashboard that shows the last three months, last six months, uh, and last 12 months of certain metrics. So why don't we start off? Uh, I'm going to start by saying I want to pull in my total sales. And I'm going to pull it. We use the gs.is so we can see the formulas. And we're going to get it over these time periods. And then we're going to replicate it. So we get over the last six months, we get over the last 12 months. Now, I want to take some other metrics from my income statement. So maybe I want to look at travel. The same thing. Equals GS. Dot IS. Travel over the same time period. Add that there. Uh, and then maybe since I want this to be a dashboard, well, why don't I look at the travel as a percent of sales? So we'll do this, this. And then we'll do the same thing for the other time period. So we get a really quick. Um, Uh, and then, so I've got my travel. Maybe I want to pull in my insurance also, right? So we'll do insurance, yes, yes. category, let's pull in these dates. And then we'll copy these for each of the time periods. And then let's do the same thing. Let's do insurance as a sales. And we'll copy this across. So the benefits of using the Genius Sheets formulas is in this example, right? All we have to do if we want to keep this dashboard active is change the dates. So if your dates, if if you get by the time you get into the next month, right, this becomes 5 1 2020, and this becomes 7 31 2020. Uh, and all the numbers will automatically update each time you update these. And so you can even, right, you can build the dates in a way that if you change one date, everything will be automatically linked to that as well. Oh, I think this was 2019. Seven, 31, 2020. And so this just gives you an idea of the flexibility you can use with Genius Sheets formulas because now if you wanted to build any other tables or reporting or put any graphs underneath here, uh, you can do that and it won't impact these formulas that are going to be pulling the updated data directly from, you know, your QuickBooks general ledger. So I hope this was helpful, you know, this short video, but if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email and we can help walk you through it. Thanks.